Hi everyone, so today I'm filming my skincare routine. So I'm coming to you natural. If we haven't met already, then I'm Sonia. So I'm just gonna walk you through my skincare routine, what I normally do. To be honest with you, if you was to ever ask me, what's your skincare routine? The honest truth is I splash my face with water in the morning and use this moisturizer. And then at night, I splash my face with water again and use this moisturizer. This is my skincare routine for when I have more time or if I wanna do, you know, a self-care pamper session. So I have dry skin. I have dry skin all year round. Honestly, it is so dry. So if you've got oily skin, maybe this might not be for you, but maybe you could try some of the products if you wanted. Also, disclaimer, in no way, shape or form, am I a beauty expert? This is just what kind of works on my skin, to be honest. This is basically what I do. Okay, let's start. If I'm wearing makeup, the first thing I do is I use the simple cleansing water with some biodegradable cotton pads. 100% natural, saves the planet all week round. I prefer this one to the Garnier one. I'm not sure why. The Garnier one makes me break out a little bit, which I'm obviously not a fan of, but the simple one is so much better on my skin. You know the pink lid Garnier one? Yeah, I used to have that one and now I've converted. After I've got my makeup off, I will use the Ordinary Cleanser. I really don't know how to pronounce that. It's not gonna focus, so I apologize for that. But I use the Ordinary Squaline, Squalene, Squalene, Squalene. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. I use the Ordinary Cleanser. So what I do is, on a dry face, I take the cleanser. Oh, okay, are you done? This cleanser is so good. It's like a moisturizer, but then when you rub it into your palms and then you rub it on your face, it melts into an oil, which is obviously good for my face because I've got dry skin. So using a harsh exfoliator, one with like the beads in it, is not very good for my skin because it's just too, what's the word, abrasive, you know? Can you see how glowy and just beautiful this product is? And to be honest, with my skin, I've always been quite fortunate with my skin. I haven't really ever had breakouts. I never really went through teenage acne. Touch wood, it's not gonna evolve later on in my life. Right? Anyway, so after I have rubbed this cleanser in and it's turned into an oil, I then take my brand new purchase, Look how beautiful she is. All just tucked away in her beautiful little casket. Anyway, oh, okay. Stop. This comes with three different brushes. So this one is a like silicone brush, which is good for like everyday use if you've got sensitive skin. Then this one is like a daily use. And this one is more for a deep, harsher cleanse. The first thing I do is I take this one, I put warm water on it, and then just go over my face. Crank it up, baby. The only thing is with this cleanser is that it doesn't like foam up, so you can't actually see oh my God, it's working. Like you just have to trust and believe with it a little bit. Then I go in with this one sometimes and then that one. But for today, I'm just gonna use this one. So what I'm gonna do now is rinse this off with warm water and then go again with the lighter brush. Hiram says, the skincare YouTube God, says you should always double cleanse. Like that's his thing. He's like, oh my God, like she needs to double cleanse. She only cleansed once. Oh my God, can't believe she only cleansed once. Right, so we're gonna cleanse twice. Look at that instant shine. Look at that instant shine. Run it under warm water and then use this one. Okay, 
you can kind of see the product like milking up a bit. Then I just rinse this off with warm water and I'll be right back. Now that my face is feeling really smooth, but dry, we need to put the hydration back. Let me just tuck her away. Back to bed, bye doll. So the face masks that I like to use. So I really love to use sheet masks. I love to use sheet masks. I love glow. I love moisture. I love them. Okay, so the one I'm using today, I bought from TK Maxx and it is by Face Ink by Nails Ink London. Okay, cool. So this is a anti-aging sheet mask. Okay, so we're gonna open this baby up. Oh my God, it's got a pattern on it. <laughs> it's got a pattern on it. Oh my, oh my God, I thought it was clear. Oh, I thought it was just the clear sheet mask. It's got a full on face on it. Oh, oh Jesus, I thought it was just white. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. Oh my God, help. Oh my God, help. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> hey, can I ask why is one of her eyelashes way down there? All right, she's cute. She's quite cute. Imagine having lips that big. I wish, bruv. I can't believe I'm talking to you with my face like this. Right, look at all that liquid that was left in the face mask. Look at all that liquid that was left in. Look at all that. So, I just add that into the face mask. Fantastic. I shall be back with you in 15 minutes. So in this time, just relax, just chill, just wait for the beauty to develop. And I shall see you again in about 15 minutes. Okay, right, so it's been about 15, 20 minutes. Actually, that's a lie, it's been about 25. <laughs> <laughs> I always leave face masks on longer than what they say. Oh my God, my lips are moving. Lol. Oh my God, lol. Just go from afar, concentrate, like make your eyes go blurry. And it looks like these are my lips that are on the face mask. It looks like these are my lips and I'm talking with these lips. Oh my God, so guys, welcome to my skincare routine. <laughs> it does, it does, it does. Anyway. So after this very interesting face mask has done its job, we shall peel her off. And that feels great. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the Mario Badescu Witch Hazel and the Rose Water Toner and a cotton pad. I never really used to wear toner. I was really a bit confused by it. What is toner and why do you need it? I didn't know when to use it in the skincare routine. I just, I just was a bit confused by it, so I just avoided it. But I watched a YouTube video that explained it to me and it basically said that if you was to put moisturizer on dry skin, it wouldn't sink as deeply into your pores. But if you used a toner, it kind of like moisturizes, like wets the first layer of your skin so that the moisturizer can like penetrate deeper into your skin and you can get like the full effects of the product, basically. Okay. I then go in with my simple moisturizer. It's the one that I used in my everyday makeup routine. I'll link that down below if any of you want to check that out after. So I go in with this. Honestly, I have been using this product for years, years. It doesn't make me break out. I have tried to branch out and use different moisturizers on my face, but they just make me break out. This one, however, does not. This one can be trusted. It is Sonia approved. Now that I've finished with my simple moisturizer, I then go in with my serums. Okay, so the first serum that I'm using is the Vitamin C and Hyaluronic Acid Brightening and Restore Serum. I got this one from Holland and Barrett. I just love pipettes, they're just so cute. Right, so I just do a few drops. 
This one is like quite watery and really light as well. And I just pat and swipe. So then I go in with this oil and it is the Dr. Organic Bioactive Skincare Vitamin E Pure Oil Complex. I also got this from Holland and Barrett. I just take maybe about four or five drops of this. That was like 11. <laughs> and this I just kind of press into my skin. Look how dewy that has made my skin. That is just phenomenal. I think this has like rose hip and things like that. Let me read the back. Right, the ingredients please. So it's got sunflower seed oil, a natural source of vitamin E, rose oil, rose hip oil, and jojoba oil. Wow, so every oil. So the last product that I use is the Mario Badescu facial spray. I normally use the rose water one, but I've run out of that one, so now I'm using this one. So I take this in a very generous amount and spray this all over my face. Okay, once that's done, just let it dry. And my skin is looking dewy on dewy. Just so great. This basically, you can use this as a primer, as a setting spray, as like skincare. It's so good. And it's honestly, I got this from Beauty Bay and it's honestly about 11 quid. Let me just read you a little bit about the product. Invigorates dull, tired skin with an infusion of nutrient rich botanicals with cucumber essential water. So basically, da 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 da, powerful antioxidant protection, blah 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 blah, whatever. Sonia approved. Also, just to say, if I ever have like one breakout or something that I need to like quickly get rid of, I use the Mario Badescu drying lotion. This is not sponsored by Mario Badescu, bloody hell, but I wish it was. This is quite strong and this only works on like active spots. But anyway, so you just take a Q-tip, dip it in and then put it on your face basically. After everything is on my face, looking dewy, looking fresh, I then take this rose quartz roller and I just roll on my face. So it's just meant to de-puff basically. And then the small one is for under your eye. I would probably use this in the morning rather than the night, but to be honest, I've been obsessed with it. I've just been spending my days doing this. Now, this is a fun new little gadget that I've purchased and also been loving at the end of my skincare routines. Then of course, finish with some Vaseline. I don't like the pink one to be honest, but it's the last one that I've got. Okay, so that is the end of the skincare routine now. I hope that you enjoyed watching and hopefully you took some inspiration from some of the products. If you're gonna take anything away from this video, these two are the best. Right, I'm gonna wrap this up now. So yeah, thank you so much. If you've made it this far, if you stayed to the end, then thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hope you're all okay. Hope you're all staying safe. I'll see you next week for another video. Thank you. Bye.